Hello YouTube, it's me, your lovable Chris on TV 88 person. Okay, I've got a little bit of news, um, you know that mystery parcel thing that's going on? Well basically, my mum called me up on Monday when I was at uni and said, Hey Chris, I've got this parcel, it's addressed to Chris on TV 88, yada yada yada, and I'm like, oh my god, I've been sent a mystery parcel. Then I realised, well, the mystery parcel thing is only being sent to those people in the UK, and how did they get my home address? and just a whole bunch of stuff like that, and I'm like, where does it say it comes from? And, and I won't tell you where it comes from, because that could give away... Like, it's a, it comes from Australia, from, where, a per, from a place where I know that a person lives near. So, um, I'm pretty certain... Well, I'll just show you the parcel. And there's my username. Won't show you the, where it is, and it says... Please open live on your blog. Um, I'm pretty certain that I know who this is from, and it's just a joke. Um, and I've just noticed that there's writing underneath it that someone's tried to write on it previously, but I'll find that out later. Um, personally, I think it's a complete joke, and one of my friends is playing a prank on me. Um, and I've been given bubble wrap with, oh, friggin' hell, bubble wrap, and there's something in it. Open this after the box. Well, normally they say open it before the box, so I'm pretty certain it's just a joke from a friend still. I think, I'll, I'll tell you who I think it is afterwards, but oh, I'll probably explain it anyway. I mean, I did get excited to begin with because I thought, ooh, like, I'm the first Australian, but no. No, it's just in the UK and one of my friends is playing a prank. Guaranteed, guaranteed. They went to quite an effort. It cost them $5.80 just to send the parcel. Oh, look. It's an engagement ring, hopefully. Mum thought that it would be horse poo, or like a bomb or something. <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> yep, thought so. It's from Rob. It's a piece of coal. <laughs> and... Rob's written, you're a d <laughs> You're a douche. Negative three, or mine, whatever that thing is, Rob. I, I knew it was from him. But I kept, I, I called him straight afterwards, and he, like, guaranteed me it wasn't. Um, so, if you don't know who Rob is, it's a half Scottish guy. I, I, Rob, you spent $5.80 on me? That's awesome, dude. Um, but anyway. Woo! He, he sent me a lollipop. I remember giving Rob my address, but then I, I forgot later on. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god, Rob has sent me a strand of his hair! <laughs> that is awesome. And... Caution tape. <laughs> oh, I remember giving Rob my address, but then I forgot for ages, and... Yeah, so... It makes complete sense. <laughs> okay, let's see. Hey Chris, I am really not sure what to write in this letter, considering I talk to you so often. I am in fact talking to you on Skype as I write this. I just informed you I am writing a letter and you asked me if it was for you. Irony. I actually typed this letter out and worked out what I was going to say and then rewrote it by hand. I am so crap at writing letters by hand because I always want to go back and add stuff in. Anyways, the main point of this letter is I wanted to send something else with a parcel but didn't have any clue what to send. So here is a letter and a tuft of my hair and <laughs> you are creepy. You will enjoy such a trinket. As I write this, I love just... I have just noticed a giant lollipop which has been sitting in a pencil jar on my desk for God knows how long. It's pure sugar so I'm sure it's still good. I will send that as well. I don't want it. Here is some caution tape. I will throw that in too. Anyways, I gotta go. I'm still talking to you on Skype and you are adding lots of other people into the chat. Okay, thanks, bye. Ho. 
negative, uh, minus all that. Less than three. Hate you. <laughs> that is frigging awesome. Thank you, Rob. Bye. It's a fucking good lollipop. Ow, I hit my nose with it.